you can't always barbecue outside, especially during the cold months. So today I'm gonna to show you how to barbecue inside. We're gonna do a hickory smoked balsamic country style barbecue ribs with some dried apricot and fig coleslaw. It's gonna be delicious. All right, the first thing we need to do is get started with our pork ribs. Now I'm using country style pork ribs, which are kind of a really inexpensive cut, but they're really meaty and really delicious. So I have them in a little baking dish and we're gonna make a barbecue sauce and we're actually going to braise the ribs in the barbecue sauce with a little bit of beer. It's gonna be really simple. So let's get to our barbecue sauce. Got a nice big bowl and we're gonna start with ketchup. Ketchup is the base for all my barbecue sauces. So we're gonna add about a cup, cup and a half. All right, that looks good. We're also gonna add about a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. I like, I like using the coarse ground or the whole grain mustard because the little bits of mustard seed are really delicious and they look pretty. We're gonna have a touch of chopped garlic. Some Dr. Pepper for a little sweetness. And our hickory smoked balsamic seasoning from Red Monkey. Now this stuff is so delicious that hickory is a really, really intense smoked flavor. It's gonna be perfect to make a mock barbecue sauce. So we're gonna add quite a bit, probably two tablespoons of the Red Monkey seasoning. A touch of salt and pepper. And the last thing we're gonna add is a little bit of chopped white onion. That looks great, and we'll add it right to our sauce. Now this uh, little bit of onion is gonna add a little crunch, uh, a little additional sweetness as well. So let's give this a good mix. Incorporate all those beautiful ingredients. All right, that looks great. Just make sure all the uh, seasoning is mixed all the way in. You can really, really smell that hickory smoke. It's just, it smells like a campfire. It's such a wonderful, beautiful spice. And we really didn't need any other spices. One of the great things about barbecue sauce is that it's loaded with flavor and spice, and we're getting all of that flavor from this one red monkey seasoning. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here's the fun part. So we're gonna take our barbecue sauce, and we're gonna pour it right over our ribs. Now we're gonna use about 75% of our sauce, and we're gonna save the rest uh, for garnish at the end. To this, we're gonna add one beer. You can use any beer that you like. I'm using a lager today. I don't want anything too heavy because uh, I don't want to overpower uh, the seasoning. So I'm gonna add my beer right over the top. Excellent. Let's do half a beer for the ribs, half a beer for me. Now let's mix that barbecue sauce around with the beer. Now this is going to create our braising liquid so our ribs get nice and tender while they braise. Then as this bubbles and boils, the barbecue sauce and the beer will kind of mix together, creating a delicious hickory smoked balsamic braising liquid. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cover my pan with some tin foil. Now I'm gonna keep my ribs covered because while it's in the oven, I want it to steam and braise and get all uh, juicy and tender. You see on a smoker uh, outside, we have a long, long time to cook our ribs at a very, very low heat. But we're not doing that because we're inside, so to get a very uh, juicy falling off the bone rib, we're gonna keep it wrapped, 350 degree oven for about four hours. All right, let's get to our coleslaw. Coleslaw is pretty simple. It's cabbage, pretty much, you know, pickled cabbage. Uh, a lot of people use mayonnaise. Today I'm using vinegar, uh, vinegar-based uh, dressing for our salad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use some red and some white uh, cabbage and also some uh, red bell pepper, mostly because it's beautiful. So what I like to do is take my uh, cabbage, cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. And then if I do thin little strips down just like that, I get these nice, bite-sized little pieces of cabbage. All right, that looks great. We'll add this to our bowl. And we're gonna do the same thing to some white cabbage. Now we're gonna take some uh, red bell pepper. Add our peppers. All right, now we're gonna make a little vinaigrette to go over the top. We're gonna start with a touch of olive oil. We're gonna add some white wine vinegar. The ratio is about two parts vinegar to one part oil. So if you add one tablespoon of oil, add two tablespoons of vinegar. That's what I like to do. I'm also gonna use a touch of soda. 
over the top. I'm using Dr. Pepper because it's got a lot of those red fruit flavors and it's also going to add uh, some bubbly sweetness. Uh, the carbonation is actually going to help uh, pickle the cabbage just a little bit so it's a bit more bright and vibrant. I'm going to add some of my hickory smoked balsamic seasoning right over the top. This really is such a fantastic spice. Once you get some, just go to uh, redmonkeyfoods.com, you can order some. You smell that hickory smoke and that balsamic sweetness, it's, it's perfect and it's going to go great in my coleslaw. I'm also going to add a little bit of uh, chopped garlic, some salt and pepper, All right, and that's pretty much it for our dressing. Give it a little whisk. Then we're gonna pour it right over top of our coleslaw. Now the last thing we're gonna add is our dried figs and apricots. So uh, when you get figs dried like this, they're really gorgeous and brown. We're gonna cut them in half, then do kind of a rough chop because we want big pieces of dried fruit uh, in our coleslaw. All right, that looks great. We're also gonna do the same thing with our apricots. These are also really, really fun. You know, it's nice to have dried fruit, especially in the cold months, so if you wanna do some indoor barbecue like during the winter, uh, this is a great dish to do. So we're gonna do the same thing, cut them in half, just do a nice rough cut on our apricots. Now we're gonna add this to our coleslaw. Give this a nice toss, and we are all finished with our delicious wintry coleslaw. It's fun to make food that tastes good, but if it can taste good and look good, that's the best of both worlds. All right, we're gonna let this sit in the vinaigrette for at least an hour, hour and a half. If you wanted to, you could make this the day before, uh, but you know, we've got another few hours waiting on our ribs. So by the time our ribs are all finished, our coleslaw should be nice and pickled, and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so it's been about three and a half hours or so. Let's give them a check and see how they're doing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I see how the liquid's gotten all juicy and bubbly. Let's look at our ribs. Oh my goodness, get in really close. You see this? So basically what happens, that braising liquid makes the ribs so tender that they just fall off the bone. You see what I'm talking about? So you can really get a great uh, tender barbecue product inside by, you know, taking a few shortcuts. All right, let's plate this up and let's eat. All these flavors working together, let's start on our plate with a big helping of this. Oh, it looks so good with the figs and the apricots right in there. Check that out, it's gorgeous. All right, then we're gonna take some of our ribs right over the top, just like that. Let's put a few of them on there, because I'm hungry. Love it. Now we also have some of our extra barbecue sauce from earlier that we saved, and we're gonna garnish right over the top of our ribs. And that raw little white onion is going to give us a nice bright crunch. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get in there. I'm going to try some of this uh, coleslaw first. Mm-hmm. It's sweet and tangy, but it's also very light because we didn't use any mayonnaise. Love that. And let's try these ribs. You see how tender it just falls to bits. Can you see that? Look at that. So good. Mm-hmm. That hickory smoke balsamic. That flavor comes through really, really bright, and our barbecue sauce is actually a really, really deep flavor. I've only used one spice. How easy is that? So even if you don't have a smoker outside, you can still get a really great barbecue product inside just by following a few simple tips and techniques. Be sure to go to redmonkeyfoods.com, pick yourself up some hickory smoked balsamic seasoning, check out all of our other fun videos and recipes, and leave a comment, click the like button, and always click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.